So, it is currently Wednesday evening, June 30th, by trying to find myself a campsite for this weekend. The only difficulty is that this weekend happens to also be Independence Day weekend. And it's like three days away. So, so far I've searched all the state parks A through M, and I haven't really found anything yet. A lot of what's available is uh, in the UP. It's already bad enough that I'm paying to sleep on the ground outside. Um, but to drive five hours is not what I'm looking to do. So... I'm just using, you know, our, our wonderful government has set up just this great um, system where you can actually just click on here and, like, I'm going to check Muskegon. I mean, oh, that's a pretty big area, but I'm going to check it anyway. Let's check the availability. And... It loads up. And it's amazing. Um... I mean, right now it's not that amazing because I'm not finding anything. But at first I was going to try and use this map. But, you know, thanks to technology, we don't need maps, actually. It's wonderful. So, like, right now I'm looking at Nuego State Park. That sounds like the name of a campground that um, would be available. Check availability. Ability. Okay. And nothing. On to North Higgins. Here we go. Nothing. <clears throat> Onway State Park. I want to be on my way to Onway. Onaway. Beach State Park. Old Ortonville Recreation Area. Otsuko Lake State Park. What a fun name. Continuing to Petoskey. I like Petoskey, but nothing. Okay. That's all right. When we get knocked down, we just keep on going. I'd almost rather just get a hotel room. Oh my god, you know, I always forget about where stuff is. What else can we possibly go to camp? Pinkney Recreation Area. Mm -hmm. I want that to go on the third. Two nights. One person and one tent. No preferences. <gasps> Another availability, oh my stars. Praise the Lord. I'm a, a very technologically savvy bloke. I am. I'm not going there. Mm -mm. Can't make me. Silver Lake State Park. I wonder if they uh, have ever named a, a, a lake something like Dirt Lake. You know, like, or, or nasty algae infested lake. Well, I have completed my search, and I looked through campsites listed A through Z, including the Xanthar campsite, which few people know about, but apparently enough to fill it up. It wasn't available. This part of the process is now complete. I'd like to thank Al Gore for inventing the internet, which made this task rather easy. From here, it's just a matter of choosing. And then it'll just be me, the open road, and some bare gravel for me to sleep on. Well, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, I'm David Richardson. I hope you've enjoyed watching me for 17 minutes trying to find a campsite. Mm-hmm.